You can make glue with household supplies quicker than it would take to actually go out and buy a bottle of glue. Here's five types of glue with many different purposes. These supplies will have you covered for all of the five types of glue. You'll need to get flour, water, unflavored gelatin, skim milk, cornstarch, corn syrup, white vinegar, and salt. The first type of glue is for really basic purposes, so it's good to use for simple crafts. To start, add a half cup of flour into a pot. Then, slowly add water while you mix it until the texture becomes thick. Heat it on low heat for 5 minutes and keep stirring. The texture becomes this thick with a half cup of water, but you can make it thinner if you want by adding even more water. It's perfect for crafts like gluing popsicle sticks together. It won't stay together for days, but it'll be fine over a short period of time. You can use the next type of glue when there's a chance that water will get into the area that you're working in. It's waterproof, so it's perfect for those situations. To create it, add two tablespoons of water into an empty bowl. Then, sprinkle two packets of unflavored gelatin into the water. Put that aside and let it stand for about an hour. After you wait, heat up three tablespoons of skim milk and add it into the bowl. Now just mix everything together until the gelatin is fully dissolved. One of the best features of this glue is that it's very durable. I glued a couple popsicle sticks together, dipped it in water, and also splashed it around for a few minutes. But even after that, it kept up fine. The next type of glue comes in handy when you have a lot of leftover cornstarch. You need to boil 3 quarters of a cup of water over medium heat. Add 2 tablespoons of corn syrup, a quarter of a cup of cornstarch, and 1 teaspoon of white vinegar. Mix everything together until the texture becomes thick. Now, get the container you're going to use to store it. In that container, mix together a quarter of a cup of water and a quarter of a cup of cornstarch. Go ahead and heat the mixture for 3 minutes while you mix it at the same time. It creates a thick jelly that'll get harder the longer you keep it out. Just set it aside for now and finish the next step quickly. Add the mixture that you were heating before into the container. Just let it cool to room temperature and you're good to go. It's really good if you need to glue paper together as it spreads evenly. Next up, here's a simple recipe for paper mache glue. Just add a quarter of a cup of flour into a cup of room temperature water. Next, in a saucepan, heat 5 cups of water into a light boil. Finally, add and stir the previous mixture into the saucepan. Boil it for 2 more minutes while you stir and then cool it down for an additional 2 minutes. If kids are going to use it, I recommend to cool it down even longer. You should aim for about 10 to 15 minutes in that case. The fifth type of glue is the easiest and quickest to make. And the best part is that heat isn't even required. There's only three steps. All you need to do is add a half cup of flour into a bowl. Then, slowly add water while you stir until the texture gets sticky. Finish it off by adding a couple pinches of salt and we're all done. It's a pretty basic recipe but it has moderate hold. In the end, there's five types of glue that are made with supplies that you most likely already own. Just make sure you store them in airtight containers and use it within a few weeks. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one.